We're ready to go on CBS. Dallas Walton and Kudis Wahab jump it up. And Colorado controls the opening. Two. Really, Georgetown through most of the year, not real good, but they've become great. And there's an uncharacteristic mistake there to start off. And Belay lays it in. A turnover by Colorado. Hey, Harris was a huge addition the way he played at the end of the year. Only one double-figure game his first 16. And that's what Dallas Walton can do. He can step out. He can make threes. Batty from the free throw line, yes. And that's an important shot because they're going to need to get a little more space. And this is what Colorado does. They move the ball, they run this motion, they reverse it side to side, which makes it hard for a defense to help out. And that is a good shot by Eli Parquet. A good three-point shoot. Shot clock at five. The freshman Harris out to pick it, fakes the three. They're going to have to put it up. Harris does and hits. Now, wait a minute. One of the officials is saying it could be a shot clock violation. Michael Greenstein, Lamar Simpson, Marcus Pettigrew. And they are taking a look at this one. Yeah, that's good. Just barely good. But I tell you, you got a good look there, Andrew, at how good Colorado is at playing that containing man-to-man -man defense. They don't come out and put a lot of pressure, but you try to get it inside or you try to drive it, the help is always there. Walton and Belay engage. Tough pass. Schwartz handles it. Hands off down low. Batty for two. They ran a little flex cut there. Great pass. Right to Walker. Colorado flying high early. Right court, cross court pass. Now Walker for three. Yes. Jabari Walker. Colorado ensures that the Hoyas go one and done. Right for three. Ten in a row. With any timeout. Hoyas without a field goal in the last six minutes. Until that, Wahab off glass for two. Five-point game as we approach the midway point of the first half. Walker left alone. Another three, his second of the game. See, Wahab was on Jabari Walker that time. Georgetown just three for ten in this first half as Blair's three won't go. Offensive rebound, Wahab, and two more. Son Ryan is committed to play for Patrick Ewing next season at Georgetown. Walker, another three. Yes! His third three of the half. Bartholomew locates Walker in the corner. Another one! Jabari Walker on fire! Career high, four three-pointers for the freshman. Blair, and he connects. First bucket of the game for Javon Blair. They have been reversing the ball. You got it. It's going from one side to the other to the other. Barthelemy from the outside. Georgetown again misses a free throw, but Wahab with the offensive rebound. Harris trying to get going off the glass. McKinley right back on the floor for Colorado. And a great feed to Parquet. We chatted with Mick Cronin yesterday. And now, Mick has been banging the drum for the Pac-12 all year. He feels they got disrespected by playing in the first four as Swartz hits a three. Off the Harris miss, right, bounces it for Walker, and Belay with the block. Wahab over Batty, yes. It's a big difference when you're wide open for all of two, though. <laughs> Here's Swartz, yes. I got nine beyond threes. Nine threes for a team that makes seven a game. Wahab, he's got ten points. And you see now, and I don't blame Kyle, they're not doubling. Wahab is already two rebounds away from a double-double. Schwartz is wide open again. And he hits another. Schwartz, another. could work the coach has to know his team and know which one is the one that will work well the threes were rolling last night for Syracuse and Colorado picking up where they left off McKinley right with eight assists in the first half and now he's got nine 
Walton converts. In free throw shooting percentage at 82%, which if it holds, would be the best ever, surpassing the Harvard team in 83-84. That's a two. Colorado not a team that turns it over. And the bottom line is if Colorado doesn't turn it over some in the second half, it's going to be really, really hard to come back at all. Here's Walton, the three, and there it is! Tad Boyle said look out for it. Foul is on Walton as Pickett misses wildly and Wright wants to push. Right, right at Harris, right. Pounded and one! This is a building where historically Georgetown has fared well. They beat Butler in six of the eight games here at Hinkle. Different story today as Blair hits from the outside. Right, no look! And a finish by Batty! Right now has 10 assists. No look, no defense. <laughs> Talk about paying your dues to become a coach. He should have been a head coach 10 years sooner. The guys that he was assistant to in the NBA, you know, Jeff Van Gundy, guys that are coaches, this guy knows the game. I think he's a hell of a, a heck of a coach. He's made six field goals. The rest of the team has combined for six. And there's Walker and one. That was a really effective press break. Walker, can he pick up where he left off? He can! Oh, my goodness. It's a three-point bonanza for Jabari Walker. Wow. Harris trying to answer. He cannot hop on the follow. Somehow that went in. Harris, jumper, gets his own miss out to Belay for three. Yes. And for Georgetown, that's their third three of the game. Tad Boy would like to get through this game without putting McKinley right back in again. He'd like to. Pickett launches and hits. Back to back threes for Georgetown. Little bounce in their step. Yeah, and McKinley Wright is back at the scorer's table immediately, <laughs> yeah. so I, I guess he couldn't sit him out. 8-0 run. Schwartz trying to stop it. And he does. Wow, 14 threes for Colorado. Schwartz has 15 points. He averages just under nine per game. Carey trying to join the three-point party. He cannot. Offensive rebound, Belay. Put back, yes. And there is a little bit of momentum here. Wright drives, hands off Walker, finishes. Another assist for Wright. You know, just to make it clarify, and it's, it's really unbelievable. Butler's had some big wins here last few years as Carey is able to lay it in with 9.20 to play. Let's see if they can make a stand on this end. Walker drives in. Two more for Jabari Walker. If Colorado goes on to win this one, it would be their 23rd victory of the year. The school record for wins in a season is 24. Parquet straight away three. Yes! They've already surpassed their points per game average with 76, and now two on one. Schwartz, the lob, Parquet, back to Schwartz. Buffs are rolling, timeout Georgetown. Minimum 20 attempts behind Providence and Rick Pitino. Back in 1987, Pitino and Iona will be on this floor a little bit later today against Alabama. The game in tournament history is 8 for 8. That was by John Goldsberry with UNC Wilmington back in 03. Horn with the flush. He's got 13 assists, zero turnovers. I think he's going to find himself moving up that list significantly. Here he goes again, right, attacking and scoring. Here's McKinley Wright with 10 on the shot clock as we approach six minutes to go. Wright blows right by Harris. That is too easy. Pickett attacks and scores. Jamarco Pickett in double figures. He's got 10. Daniels on the drive and the finish. The senior Maddox Daniels. Talked about it. Their bench was the best in the Pac-12 as it was. That three goes down from the corner for Carey. 
Horn has not been able to get it going today. One of seven from the floor. Yeah, he's the first graduate transfer that Tad Boyle has taken into the program. I thought that this year, because of COVID and not getting freshmen on campus and seeing how they would adjust, he thought this was the year to finally do it with Jariah Horn. Yeah, he mentioned not being sure about Walker, not being sure about De Silva. Those two guys are going to be good players. Tad Boyle has gone deep into his bench. Luke O'Brien, Nick Clifford. Here's O'Brien. First points for Luke O'Brien in a long time as Carey hits from the outside. But it comes to an end here in the first round of the NCAA tournament. O'Brien, and he's got a new career high with four points. Great move, too. I tell you, I like this freshman class of uh, Tad Boyle also. De Silva, Walker, those guys are going to be good players. TJ Berger from Westchester, Pennsylvania hits from the outside. Wide open is Clifford. Yes! Neek Clifford, and that will do it. McKinley Wright and the Buffaloes are moving on after they put up 96 points on Georgetown.